this lecture we have seen how basic nlp is working and how all those words are converted into the numerical one by using encoding and embedding methods and we have seen various methods such as one out encoder label encoder dummy encoder then we have seen various examples for the backup words and we have seen also what are the its drawbacks and all those so in next series we are going to move towards the tf idf and i am going to teach you all those concepts in very simple and basic one level so stay tuned to the channel and if you have any drawback like or all please ask so tf idf is the improved or uh, improved version of improved version of bag of words so we have already seen bag of words it will going to give higher importance to the words which is occurred many times and it will also going to create uh, out of vocabulary issue and and so many and uh, <clears throat> it's also not giving the importance to the words which are accurate less number of times so initially i'm going to tell you what is the concept what is actually all this concept and that so tf idea so in that tf is term of frequency i will write here tf is nothing but term frequency and idf is nothing but inverse document frequency inverse document frequency so what happens what is term frequency and what is inverse document frequency so i will tell you suppose there is a sentence or documents sentence or documents so documents will nothing but the majority of the sentences suppose one document contains that number of sentences and such a paragraph this is document 1 then there will be another document which will again contains all those sentences okay then there will be another document 3 and it will going to contain all those sentences so here what happens now here actually we give uh, importance to the more importance to the less number of accurate words here more importance given to the less less number of words less number time accurate word why we we want to give that you heard about in the english language suppose if you want to speak and you have also observed many times while you speaking you, you use many times uh, and that this for was is and all those words are nothing but just a grammatical words and those words have nothing much more meaning and those words are also not containing any exhaustive information so for that purpose we are going to give here more importance to the all those words which are occurred less number of times and we are going to give a uh, maximum importance to the all words which are occurred a uh, minimum importance to the words which are occurred very high times the words occurred very high time very high time we are going to give them less importance so how we can do how we can do suppose you have such documents which contains a paragraph and all so how it can be done so that's why the term came it's called term frequency in all document frequency so what happens here in the term frequency term frequency will be applied for each documents so for that documents what will be term frequency a particular word suppose here is word i love india then india is great country there is a great country and and so so many times so what happens here india is occurred two times so what will be here index index will be the number of word occurrence number of word occurrence 
डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स इन दैट डॉक्यूमेंट्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स इन दैट डॉक्यूमेंट सो ओके सो फॉर दैट टर्म फ्रिक्वेंस फॉर दैट डॉक्यूमेंट इज दिस वन फॉर दैट डॉक्यूमेंट इज दिस वन फॉर दैट डॉक्यूमेंट दिस इज दिस वन सो वॉट हैपन्स हियर हियर एक्चुअली वी आर गिविंग सेम एज लाइक बैग ऑफ वर्ड्स वी आर गिविंग हियर of more importance to the words which are called more number of times but but please remember here is another terms and we have already defined here it's called inverse document frequency so in inverse document frequency what happens i will write here for form inverse document frequency here actually magic happens inverse document frequency is nothing but the it is the inverse of document frequency so it is the inverse of document frequency simple mathematical term inverse of document frequency and and how how the document frequency is given please remember i am just giving in mathematical format document frequency is given by the formula a word containing a word acquired in a particular documents suppose if a uh, india is word acquired here in a single documents two times a word acquired in a particular documents number of times suppose india also came here india okay but here in that document there is no india there is no india so what happens here a word occurred a number of word occurred in a documents so in how many documents india has been occurred india has been occurred in two documents so here our it's become one as it is in the denominator we are writing this so how many times india occurred in the occurred two times in those documents divided by total number of documents so how many here documents 1 2 3 there may be suppose we can consider 10 so there may be a 10 documents and just only initially two documents containing those words so a number of documents containing those words divided by total number of documents 10 so indirectly it's become 10 by 2 indirectly it becomes 5 so idf is equal to 5 so please remember what happened here indirectly we have given more weightage to the words which is occurring less number of time because in that example india is occurred only two documents so i have given the word occurred in documents divided by total number of documents either those document may contain those this word or not but still i am going to consider it as a document frequency calculation hence <coughs> hence what happen here we have given a more weightage to the word which is called less number of time because what happens here here actually reverse happen because we have taken inverse and because of that inverse that happens suppose there are maybe so many words occurs words such as uh, consider words such as uh, i or is and or suppose that word is occurring in each document so suppose that word is occurred in a uh, eight documents so what will happen our inverse document frequency will going to become 1 upon or documents containing that word or word according in particular document divided by total number of documents so indirectly it becomes 10 by 8 so what if what will be its answer it's it's uh, less than means its value will be just one point something 1.2 like that one so here we have given very less weightage but actually in books or in uh, problems or in 
whereas you have seen that tf idf is defined by tf idf is defined by it's a dot product matrix product of term of frequency into inverse of means idf so term frequency it will nothing but it will create a bag of words matrix okay here all those values and here we are going to take inverse document frequency but in the idf we have applied here log 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 formula please remember we we taking the logarithmic inverse document frequency why we have used log because all of us know the value of log lies between 0 to 1 so in that example you have seen here for india we have got the five value suppose there may be a, a huge case becomes here uh, there are 10000 or 1 lakh words and you are uh, some uh, specific word occurs only two times then its value will going to become a 50000 or 60000 so to avoid such values and uh, complication we use log transformation indirectly it will be going to scale down all those values between 0 to 1 so that's why you should use log it will going to transform all values between 0 to 1 so that is the magic of tf idf and in that multiplication what happens the words which is occurred a much number of times it will its value will again going to decrease and the word which is occurred less number of time its value will going to increase and because of tf here some positions will going to get to the words so because of that tf idf a uh, lot of issues solved such that it has got given more importance to the words which are occurred less number of times and also more importance to the less number of words less number of words and it it is actually capturing the meaning and also there are so many use cases suppose if you have your own corpus data and you you want to do a uh, create your own embeddings or encoding that time tf idf is also best works because it will going to remove all the stop words and all those and it will going to give the embeddings to that and it's far better than bag of words instead of creating that sparse matrix and all those issues or a sentence issue it will going to solve problems but still it has some drawbacks and i will going to give some drawbacks okay what are the drawbacks drawbacks of it still it will face out of vocabulary world out of vocabulary world issue word issue not as like bag of words but that still issue happens still it will not going to still it will not going to calculate semantic meaning not going to calculate mm, contextual or semantic meaning semantic meaning okay so what is semantic or contextual meaning suppose there are two sentences there are two sentences such that there are two sentences such that one is i love apple i love apple and i love apple fruit and second one is apple phones are too costly apple phones are too costly so in that two sentences suppose if i want to get the right meaning for the apple based on the uh, situation then what happen here that tf idf or bag of words or even the word vectors they will going to consider only one apple as a particular meaning they will going to capture if we will use tf idf and suppose apple fruit apple occurs less number of times as compared to apple phone then it will going to give more important to the apple fruit and that apple will be recognized fruit i even though if it's app uh, occurred as a apple phone and uh, in the word vector the words which contains the last one in that calculation it will going to give them as a meaning so a contextual or semantic meaning still not be happen here in tf idf but i have given all those uh, mathematical institution 
in very very simple and logical meaning though there are so many youtube lectures and blogs but still you will not be able to get them very well but i have explained all those you know very very simple and simple manner so if you have any doubt question please ask me and after that i am going to move towards the world to trend all those i am going to cover all those embedding and all those methods so please feel to free if you have any doubt and or uh, issue i am always there for you and and those basic concepts are very important because every every interviewer will going to ask you all those okay so be please be prepared for that i am i am stopping my lecture and i will continue in the next video in which i am going to teach you so those are count count vectorizer or bag of words or uh, tf idf tf idf all those are the uh, base on the count or numerical base words means all those words are based on the numerical representations how many times all those words are called or repeated so based on that it happens so next one is the word to vector word to vector so here what happens in word to vector word to vector is a predictive word to vector is a predictive modeling okay word to vector is a predictive modeling so it's based on deep learning and all those so we have to see all those very well and uh, i hope in next lecture i will i will cover them so and i will cover all those all them in very very simple language so don't worry and those are the basic and building block or anything so please stay tuned to the channel and ask me if you have any problem with all those so thank you bye bye take care